So what we have here is all the waste from the side of the laurel bush and there's plenty of it. So I'm just going to take this side discharge mower over it. But I'm going to the far end so that it shoots away from the hedge only because it's a large amount. If there was a small amount or, or less half this, I'd run the mower up with the side discharge facing the hedge so it just shoots straight under the hedge but there is so much it won't be chopped up fine enough and that is the whole object of this mulching to get it fine so let's get started on the mulching process as I say I'm starting from the outside and shooting the, the leaves away from the hedge now okay it will give us a little bit of uh, blowing to do but we're going to end up blowing anyway so that doesn't matter that's here neither here or there um, you can see where I've been and it does look fine but what I want to do is just blow it blow it all back again and just go over once more you don't have to just a one once run over with this is enough but obviously more the better the finer the, the quicker it dries the quicker it just starts rotting and it's best all round and plus it can't be seen as easy so if, if you want to spend the time just go over it once more that's that's brilliant but if you don't then it doesn't really matter but it, it's best if you do and as i say i would like to have took the mower down the hedge sorry face coming up the other way with the hedge on my right but because there's so much um, you, you haven't got any choice then it'll just fire it under and it might be big pieces of shreddings that I don't want I don't want big pieces so yeah we'll do that and we'll see how it looks in a sec So that's ready that's had it's once over what i'm going to do now is just blow any remnants that are from underneath the hedge it, ones that i've cut and also dead leaves get them out okay so we're blowing out all the excess leaves and things which might seem a bit strange because you're going to end up putting all this back in but as i say you don't want to build up of all sorts of uh, especially living leaves and things and even the dead leaves they all mount up so the finer they are the easier they are to rot the quicker they rot down so what we want to do is instead of just piling all our stuff under the hedge which isn't going to do any good or look good we take out anything to make some more room get that shredded down as well and then we can put it all back and it'll just disappear in no time So I've actually blown it out as you've just seen and I've ran the mower over it but I didn't film that because you've already seen me doing that. So this is all now. The leaves that I've cut, any dead leaves that were underneath the hedge have all been run over and now I'm just going to blow them all back in. And I'm very happy with it. It's going to look great. It's all going to disappear. It's going to rot. The job's going to look good, clean, tidy and there's been no removal. No running around with big builders bags and your van full of rubbish. Okay, and as happy as I was with doing that, that is only half the job because we have now got to cut the top. So I was only getting rid of all that mass that was in the way because there would have been just too much. So that was just the front of the hedge cut and chopped up and put under. So now let's get on with it. <clears throat> well, that's only the top from this half. So note to self, 
Don't let it get too big next time. So, although I cleared up earlier, I do decide I'm still probably going to go around here because I can't really reach these. The only other option I've got is to put the extension pole on, but it gets a bit too heavy for that a length of time, so I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt it. Okay, well, it's the clearing up I'm going to be talking about, so there's still a bit more, and I'll do all this and then I'll clear up this side. Okay, well, I'm just, I've cut all that now. I can't believe the heat, it's like the summer's come back. It's Saturday today. I don't know what date it is. But, do you know what? I've got a clue. The 11th, something like that. 9th, 10th, 11th, around that. Um, I'll clear all this up first, just to give myself a bit of a break, because it's that hot. Up and down the ladder, I'm tired, reaching, before I go round. So I won't film this, because you've already seen it, but I'll just show you when it's all done. So I'll do that now. And that's it, sides cut, top cut, and we're just blowing all the little remnants away now. And it's hard to believe how, how much waste there was there. I wouldn't like to hazard a guess how many bags you'd be filling. And then taken away. So I think that looks much better, easier, and quicker. Yeah, so just the last little corner to do now and once that's done jobs finished cleaned and looks great and can i please just say because people just don't seem to listen when i do videos i've said in the past if you don't want to do it don't do it nobody's making you doing it i'm just showing you what i do i'm quite happy with it i've been doing it for years if you want to try it try it if you don't don't it's quite simple if you want to struggle with your bags, <laughs> you do that. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. See you on the next video.